How do you view Nick Sirianni? Because again, you are one of the few people who cover the 49ers who will actually be critical of Kyle Shanahan from time to time. Eagle fans are a little bit iffy on on, on Sirianni. Every now and then I say Why? comment on my show because they think it's all Shane Steichen. They think that Sirianni is doing nothing and it's all Shane Steichen. And so Sirianni just claps his hands and looks kind of motivated, which there's no ooh, way to ooh, prove. Ooh. Right? Yeah, what's from the my, evidence behind that? What's the evidence studio, behind that? Right, I'm gonna yeah. prove that. But that's that's what the critics of him will say that it's all Steichen. I don't buy it, but I'm curious the outside view of uh, Nick Sirianni. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I'm not. No. I, I'm so far away. But from what I see, I mean, first of all, Howie Roseman. He's got to be the best. Well, Howie well, Roseman. He's very good. Lynch so is he's good giving. Too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, the two of them seem yeah. to be at the top in the NFC right now yeah. in terms of understanding. You don't over. You don't splurge for good quarterback play. The Niners did that for a while with Jimmy Garoppolo. You right. guys did that for a while with Carson Wentz. But now it's like, don't don't just spend on the rest of the team and make the quarterback's job as easy as possible. Yep. That is really smart. So as far as what Nick Sirianni is doing, I feel like, like him and Kyle have the easiest jobs in the league. And they get so much credit. But it's like, yo, your job is hella easy. That being said, I mean, he took care of business. He lost yep. one game when, when Hurts was uh, healthy. You could definitely argue he was the coach of the year. From afar, though, the stuff he does on the sideline is a little goofy. It doesn't make me mad. I just think it's like, wow, man, if, if if Kyle Shanahan did that stuff around here. Yes. You know what I mean? So, I think, you know, yeah. the uh, the playoff motto for Philadelphia is it's a Philly thing. I think it only – it's Sirianni's antics on the sideline can only be when you're winning in Philadelphia right. and you're trying right. to showcase that you're part of Philadelphia. I think that's – he's not doing it on purpose. I truly believe it's who he is. But like you said, if we were eight and nine this year, or we had lost in the first round, or lost last week, it'd be a very <laughs> he better game. never lose <laughs> doing very stuff like that. Game. He better oh. be like thirteen and four every oh, freaking year. But right. right now, I guess he, you know, you, he can strut his stuff. He's that guy. He's got that team. But I mean, I really like the scheme. I, everything they do with that quarterback is like exactly what I think yeah. the Niners should do with Trey Lance. It's ex- or, or or what Chicago should do with Justin Fields. I mean, it's a it is a model blueprint of how to handle. The, the the modern dual threat quarterback and as opposed to what freaking Baltimore does yep you know just yep. run the guy into the freaking ground he's hurt at the end of the year like no I I th- no I think what they do in uh, Philly is the is the blueprint it's okay. great I yeah. totally agree if I was uh, Justin Fields I just take all the Eagle game film and branch my offensive coordinator and be like let's just do this literally the exact same thing and then we're good we're done that's why when people are like like iffy about Justin Fields I'm like just just picture him on the Eagles right tell me he couldn't do that right. He, he could do it. He, he could freaking him. do it. Yeah, Trey Lance too. So yeah, yeah it's, it's you gotta it, think about that when you're judging quarterbacks. So much depends on the team they're on.